All right, I'm sitting here with Reese. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. You just want to tell me a little bit about your, you know, history, where you're from, how old you are, stuff like that. Um, I'm from Kensington, 31. Mm. Uh, started getting high when I was 28. Okay. On dope, but I started smoking crack when I was well, like two years ago. Okay. I hated it at first. <laughs> And, and is that more of your drug of choice now? Yeah, now it's it is. Crack? Thank yeah, God. Yeah. Because yeah. I started smoking it to bring my dope habit down. I was shooting up like four bags every two hours. Yeah. And that's not good. <laughs> so you were here for the er original heroin. Yeah, shit. I was here when you had to go on the way to Front Street to get dope. Yeah. Like I grew up here before I, the neighbors were not letting anyone sell drugs here. <laughs> yeah. So you had to, that's back when we had to go up to the Badlands. Yeah. 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 Up, yeah. up Cambria, up that area. Yeah. Okay. And how long... Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I already asked. So, which one do you like better? With the fentanyl or the dope? Dope. You like the original. But it, yeah. does it even work on you now? No. Because the fentanyl is that yeah, much so stronger? Yeah, so I don't even try to get high off of it. Uh, and you said there is one, you know, of one place? Yeah, yeah. In Badlands, you can get it. There's like two blocks mm -hmm. that have just pure dope. Wow. Can I hit that? <laughs> Put this off. Oh, no. I don't care if you. It uh, don't matter. I just I don't know if the uh, how YouTube would uh, if they would not, not let me make money because they show that I don't know. How you much. will. Yeah. 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 I've seen many videos of people doing interviews. This guy he um he entered a um a, like an art contest to have his pictures in a gallery of me. Oh. Okay. And it was like phases like different pictures he picture he took pictures of me like when i was sick and i was scraping my bags mm -hmm. and smoking my heart and shit and then i smoked my dope and you could see like how my face changed from being sick to getting better, better. Yeah. it was crazy it was decent oh so he took like the pictures and yeah. Yeah. yeah it's crazy how, how, nice. how you can go from feeling the worst you've ever yeah. felt in your life you see me like i'm like this and then mm -hmm. i just start then laughing and cheesy. shit yeah, yeah. like it's it's crazy it's crazy it so are you you're sleeping on the streets now uh, or how how what's what's your if well, you don't mind me asking last night I did I was I haven't been home for five days but past four days I was at my friend's house last night I just stayed out I didn't go to sleep or nothing so mm. I don't know what I'm doing tonight I might go home yeah I might not go well, home <laughs> you know some guy's house basically yeah it's another kind of like to yeah. stay there yeah I lived there for four years though mm. like he takes care of me but he's crazy yeah <laughs> um have you tried to get sober or do you have any desire right now or um i don't enjoy getting high anymore but i mean i only do it so i can do my crack and feel good mm -hmm. and not be in pain for my wounds mm -hmm. now you said you are you do your foot is really bad um from my knee to my ankle on both outsides of my legs are it really, is really bad the sores yeah okay it's been like that for over a year and a half i stopped shooting up a year and a half ago i smoked my dope now but the past week and it, it's still like that with the yeah it's healing it's taking a long time for the skin it was really deep yeah was, like look you can look at my foot you see the scars on my oh, foot yeah like that's from a oh, septic wow. cop kicking a needle into my foot. Wow. When I was shooting up at K and I just was able to put sneakers on a couple months ago. I had to wear slippers. Look at that. That's yeah. Wow. Like I had to wear slippers in the snow and everything because how painful it was. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Cause that's like another hurdle you guys have to go through to get in yeah. the rehab. You have to get medical. Yeah, cleared. and I can't have open wounds to be in rehab. I can't go to rehab right now until that's gone. Yeah. They wouldn't even accept me. Now there's a doctor from what I'm hearing that works at Temple, Temple yeah. Broad, and yeah. he's apparently meeting people like at the emergency room, yeah. and getting them in, yep. medicated, yeah. and trying to get get the. Uh, yeah, he understands that on top of our pain, we need withdrawal meds too yeah now talk about the the withdrawal from the trank is that something you've experienced yeah it's it's really bad like um you get really bad anxiety and like i tense my body up without knowing it and like your ribs hurt in your back when you breathe in and shit like and that's that's completely different than like the opiate withdrawal yeah like my legs it's 
like restless leg, but like it's all over your body. You're like you know that's funny. You just someone else explained it like that. Yeah, too. like your arms are that restless leg syndrome. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Like yeah, you she can't said restless still. body syndrome. Yeah, basically. Yeah, like my roommate, I didn't even know, and she's sitting there massaging my whole body because she feels bad for me. She's let me sleep in her bed, put my bed on the floor. Like I couldn't get comfortable. I was in detox one time and. I had this, they made me stay 10 days because they'd never seen someone withdraw as bad as me. And I was only snorting brown dope then. That's why I'm scared to go to rehab. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's, there's a, uh, it, it is scary. There's a girl, Jess, I helped get. Here, while you do that, I'll look up this, this photo. I'm going to okay. show you this photo. I'm sorry. All right, you're good. <laughs> it just helps me talk. Yeah, no, it's, I, 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 no judge, there's, this is a judgment free zone. I just wanted to show you, um, I have this picture of Jess's leg I show everyone. I show people so you could see. Look now, at this. They were able to save that whole thing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Man. You know how painful it is without dope? And this one. Look at this. Yeah. You, know, you see that scar? So that, that, that used to look like the other side. Yeah, yep. That looked just like that. Man, my heart goes out for you oh guys. Oh my god, that should hurt so bad right now. I I don't even like to say I'm a recovering <coughs> addict because it's so different now <coughs> yeah. than what you... That's what my mom said before she relapsed. She was like, um... She was looking at me one day when I was withdrawn in her bed. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why are you looking at me like that? Like, like you don't know what I'm going through. And she's like, Teresa, I don't... And she's like, I didn't go through that when I was getting high. And it's, it's crazy how it is now. Yeah. I, it, it seems like it's so much harder or deadly or just look what you guys got to go through. Like, I always say I wouldn't even have started this YouTube channel if it wasn't for those sores and stuff. That's yeah, it's just, look, look at the scar. Look, at, I can't open my hand. Oh, wow. Because I shot up in my fingers. Look at the scars look all over all the, me. Yeah. I, look, I can't open his hand either. Wow. I, I look crazy. Like, it's got scars everywhere. Mm. Man, now people will look at that and they're going to be like, oh my God, why is she still getting high? And those people just don't understand Because of the pain addiction. from it. Yeah. I, I need it because of the shit that it's done to me. Yeah. Like, I, I, I can't walk without dope. Yeah. Like, so, so... There's genuine pain associated with, yeah. with that. Yeah. I can't get out of bed in the morning. And like, how long have the legs been like that? A year and a half. Wow. Yeah. Well, over that, because I stopped shooting up a year and a half ago. That's so why I stopped shooting. still like that, and it's and it's just from smoking the. No, that's from shooting. That's from shooting up. Okay. In my legs from missing. Okay. From the trank, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So, how, are you shooting up now? Um, I've had, I've done it for the past couple of days a couple of times, but... Okay. Now, in the leg again? Yeah. Okay. But the past year and a half, I've only been smoking it, but you need more to smoke it. And since I've been out here for a couple of days, it's easier for me to do that because it lasts longer. Okay, yeah. And it's stronger. Now, people always talk about how fast withdrawal kicks in with, with this, though. Within a couple hours. Really? It's that quick? Yeah. Uh, and another thing that I hear is is if you or when you nod out or pass out, it doesn't matter how long you're out for. When you wake up, you're you don't almost feel in good at all. Yeah, you're not gonna. Your body's not gonna make you wake up until you feel pain, mm -hmm. until you're sick. Mm -hmm. Like that's what wakes you up feeling that. Yeah. And another thing, and this is, I don't want to sound embarrassing or personal, but a lot of people talk about, you know wet in their pants and, and going to the bathroom on themselves because of being knotted out so much. Oh, thank God I've never done, that, okay. done that. Oh, my God, that would fucking... Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be I mean, horrible. It's embarrassing. Like, I, I don't want to say I was just... Yeah, no, with, that wakes me up, thank God. I was just with one of the girls I help all the time, and I had to take her to get oh, to, to clean herself off. Yeah, because, that would be bad. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's crazy. Like, what yeah, you guys when I wake up, I peel... Like, I can feel, like, a fucking whole, like, fucking, like, leader up with pee from me holding it wow. when I'm like yeah, yeah. be like damn I'm peeing a lot mm -hmm. 
Like one time I um I had nowhere to pee. I was in someone's car and I peed in a, like a Chinese cup. Yeah. And it was about to overflow. Like yeah. I filled that whole yeah. thing up. That's, like it was like damn you got a big ounces ass. Too. It was like damn you got a big ass bladder. Yeah. <laughs> um so <laughs> let's say you decide to get clean, right? Or yeah. give it a shot. Do you know where to go? Yeah. So you have all you know where the resources are. Yeah, I would go to temple. Okay. And then, yeah, because you have to get medically cleared first. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I would have to do it in the hospital. I would have to do so, my recovery there. So, Eagleville and Valley Forge are both accepting people with wounds like yeah. that. That's where that girl Jess, the, I went to, uh, she's Eagleville at Valley Forge. Forge. Yeah. I was there, too. I love that Eagleville. So did I. The but, food there was awesome. Yeah, it was. The buffet and oh shit. My oh, my God. It was decent. I left there but, with, like, 30 pounds. I, 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 I didn't need it when I went there. I was 18. Mm -hmm. So, it wasn't like, I didn't really use it you weren't so ready to listen i wasn't getting high yeah like i was like why am i here with these fucking fiends yeah you know that's how i felt yeah you know? no i get it 18 is a little early to yeah like i was there. really like i was like why am i here like i'm people telling stories about fucking putting needles in her neck and i'm like yeah well i smoked the blunt yeah like, you know like, yeah 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 what was it court like, order to that point? yeah yeah I wonder if that almost did more damage than it did, yeah, the, like, you know, putting around all the, you know, yeah. that's crazy. Hearing that shit, like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Yeah. All right, so you do know where to go, and, and so you said, you, do you have, if you did get clean, do you have positive support? Yeah, my world? mother, yeah, she's very, she's, she's a very good positive support, like, now, even. She said, you said she did relapse, but she is, yeah, she's, she's doing better doing now. Doing great now, yeah, but, um. Even when she's clean, like, she's not one of them, like, holier than thou people. Like, I can go to her recovery house, dope sick, and she'll give me money. Yeah. Like, she's not, she's not judgmental at all. Like, you know, like, that's good. She, awesome. she would never push me away. Yeah, that's good. It's it's awesome you were able to have a, a relationship yeah. with her. Yeah, so like, she's lot. my best friend. Yeah. And I guess, I mean, she she's, like you said, she's been through it before. Yeah, she's so been getting high since she was 16. She's 72. Oh wow! So yeah, so, yeah. wow. Relapse at what 72? Yeah. I, it's a life. It's a lifelong. Uh, yeah, you, just because you're older, don't make you yeah. stop wanting to get high. It doesn't go away. No. I, luckily, I, I have my medical marijuana card. Yeah. <laughs> I use that if I ever, yeah. you know, have the urge. And it's crazy. Like she smokes crack and dope, and she has COPD. Like it was. I'm glad she went to rehab. COPD and smoke. Oh man. Yeah. And he, I was taking care of her. Like I wasn't letting her do anything to get money like she's 72 she's my mom i was taking care of her mm -hmm. and it was causing so much stress on me yeah like it was bad so thank god she went away because that's all you said she had kirk bride yeah all right and go yeah. back to the recovery house yeah something like that yeah all right yeah. so you can you can just lean on her or yeah, whatever definitely. when you choose to get sober yeah or if you do hopefully you yeah. do at some point yeah hopefully all right i remember when i was little i had cancer and um she used to get scared because uh, I would always argue with the doctors for my sleepy meds <laughs> and I guess it was fentanyl oh. and like I used to take their pagers and shit and hold it hostage and scream I want my sleepy meds so and I would probably love, saw the addiction yeah she's like damn she's gonna be an addict like I would love drawing on myself <laughs> seven years old <laughs> wow like, it was crazy hey man it, it feels good to get high yeah it's, to this day, it's the that, that first shot of heroin was the greatest feeling in the history of my life. Yeah. Not even a sec close second is. So I understand it is, yeah. and it, that won't go away. The, no. the, the the how it feels, the, oh, how no. good it feels. Oh, quick question: Do you like how the trank feels? No. Okay. You don't. It's like not even a feeling. It just makes you pass out. Okay. <laughs> so you don't. There's not. You don't like the the high from it. No, you don't know your high. Wow. You can fall asleep and wake up like, did I do my shot? Looking for your shit, like... All your shit's missing, stolen. Yeah, and be like, oh, damn, I did it. <laughs> like, right. oh, oops, I forgot. Right. <laughs> like, you don't even know. So, in the future, because I like to... People I interview, I like to keep up with them. Yeah. Keep talking to them, interview them again. I, I, I'd i go to Rob, the guy I interviewed today. Yeah. He can always find you. Yeah. Right. yeah. He's a good dude. Man. Yeah, he, yeah. he's just definitely a good guy. He, he helped me a lot when I first came out here. Yeah, he's so quiet. Quiet talking. Yeah. I like him. He good you got guy. a good heart. Yeah, he, definitely good heart. I, like I said, when I first started the channel, he was one of the first, <laughs> and he was 
I was down there. I had no idea what he was doing. What I was doing. <laughs> he was such a nice guy, so I'm yeah. glad I ran back into him. Yeah. And I know decent. where Big Ten is. I so. feel so bad for him right now. He got hit by that fucking car. Dude, and the car probably drove around right away. It did. Away. It went right. It ran. It went driving right off. And yeah. his whole face is fucked up. His ribs hurt. Yeah, I saw how big his face was. And I asked him, he's scared to go to the hospital, though. I yeah, get it, he man. can't. He can't go there. I get it. All right, Reese, thanks again for You're taking welcome. the time Thank to do you. this. Yep, we'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right.